The Cotswolds Discover One Day Pass Sponsors the AONB Update With the sun shining and views like this one and with over 3,000 miles of public footpaths across the Cotswolds AONB no wonder the Cotswolds is known as England's walking and exploring capital but where are we today? You can find out here on your spring update for the Cotswolds area of outstanding natural beauty. I'm in the village of Brockhampton, between Andoversford and Winchcombe, east of Cheltenham. This corner of the Airwind is a real delight for those looking to walk and explore. Often we take for granted the natural beauty of the Cotswolds landscape, and millions of visitors come to the Cotswolds each year to walk and explore this wonderful landscape, but that can impact on the environment. Caring for the Cotswolds is the new name for the Cotswolds Airwind Visitor Giving Scheme where companies welcoming visitors to the Cotswolds ask their customers to make a small donation on top of their accommodation or food bills. This money is then collected and put towards conservation projects across the Airbnb. Manor Cottages, Adam Henson's Farm Park, Go Cotswolds and the Ebrington Arms are just a few caring for the Cotswold members. New members are welcome to join at the website address below. And we can all do our own bit in helping to care for the Cotswolds. And that's what the Cotswolds a and Management Plan is also looking to do. Hi Ali, thanks for joining me today. Um, so you're the planning officer for the Cotswolds Conservation Board and you're developing the management plan. What is a management plan for the a and So a management plan is something that the Cotswold Conservation Board is required to, uh, to produce. Um, so we do that every five years. Um, and it looks, it's a plan for the whole of the AOMB and it will look at issues such as um, development issues, uh, issues around uh, agriculture and biodiversity and try to pull that together to ensure that the uh, landscape of the AOMB is conserved and enhanced. And you're reviewing the current management plan now. Talk me through that process. Yeah, so as I said, we have to review every five years. So we've um, done a series of uh, workshops with some of our key stakeholders, such as um, Natural England, the Forestry Commission and the Environment Agency, but also stakeholders, local businesses, um, land landowners and land managers to get their views on what they would like to see within the management plan um, and how we want the Cotswolds to look uh, for the next five years. Ali, sounds really interesting. Good luck with all of it. We'll see you soon. Thank, Thank you. you. The Cotswolds Conservation Board would like to hear your views on what you think makes AMB special. As a part of the Cotswolds at 50 project, we're keen to hear what you think and what you would like to see happen in the future to manage any landscape change. The start of June marks Volunteers Week and we would like to thank each and every one of our volunteers that helped to keep the Cotswolds outstanding. Staying with volunteering, we would like to thank our Save Our Magnificent Meadows volunteers. The Heritage Lottery funded project is helping to conserve the rich flower grassland meadows of the Cotswolds and there's plenty of ways for you to get involved, including National Meadows Day taking place in July. we welcome the BBC Springwatch team to the Cotswolds AOMB. The hit BBC Two series has set up camp at National Trust's Sherborne Estate for three weeks, capturing some amazing wildlife shots. There are some newbie stars on the scene, as well as some regular Springwatch favourites. So welcome to a fresh, feisty, fabulous Springwatch! And it's great having BBC Springwatch here in the Cotswolds AOMB. And their cameras aren't the only ones capturing this wonderful landscape. Oh, what a nail to this, isn't it? Does he got the power? On what Saturday the 9th of September, the Tour of Britain is coming to the Cotswolds. The seventh stage of the Premier Road Cycle event will start in Hemel Hempstead and enter into the A&B at Chalbury, visiting the likes of Borton on the Water, Morton in Marsh, Winchcombe, before finishing in Cheltenham. 
Here we're on the Cotswold Way, and that direction's Chipping Sodbury and Bath, that direction's Winchcombe and Chipping Camden. And this year, the Cotswold Way is celebrating its 10th anniversary since gaining national trail status. It's exactly 10 years ago since the Cotswold Way gained its national trail status. Recently, an anniversary event took place at the Painswick Rococo Garden to celebrate with volunteers and partner organisations. And if you can't get enough of the Cotswold Way, then you can now explore it for yourself on Google Maps. Thanks to the Cotswolds Conservation Board, you can now view all 102 miles of the Cotswold Way in street view mode on Google Maps, helping you to plan your walk before you set off. More and more people are learning rural skills here in the Cotswolds, from hedge lane, dry stone walling to thatching. I caught up with the Cotswolds Conservation Board's Rural Skills Officer, Ed Bond, to find out why. So participants on our courses have the opportunity to put a living section of the landscape back into a really good condition. We're going to have participants this weekend down on this section of wall, putting it back into really good shape uh, with the help of an expert instructor. And I guess the other thing is people get the opportunity to get out for the weekend in beautiful weather, hopefully, with like-minded people and, and really enjoy a good day of exercise and hard work. And you can check out more details about the Cotswold Rural Skills courses at cotswoldsruralskills.org.uk And we've come to the end of this update and if you want to have a look at some of the details of the walks in this area and the events taking place then you can head to our website escape to the Cotswolds org.uk there you also find details about our camping and bug trail evening at the Cotswolds Discovery Center in North Leach from me here in Brockhampton in the Cotswolds it's goodbye Discover a one day pass. Sponsors the AONB update.